So before we go into the Christmas Advent devotional, you picked something kind of disturbing here. What do you, what do you have for us, Mom? This devotional is called Disturb Us, Lord. Based on the book, The Danger of Complacency by Daniel Kalenda. Complacency is a lethal enemy. Mm-hmm. The pounding at the door rattled the entire house just before the foot of an impatient Roman soldier kicked it in from its hinges. Peter was still in bed when the guards grabbed him and hauled him into the dusty Jerusalem streets where a prison wagon was waiting. The high priest had exercised his political power and commanded that the disciples of Jesus be rounded up like ordinary criminals to be incarcerated in a common prison. But the evening would bring an extraordinary miracle. Acts 5.19 says, But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth. What a glorious deliverance and testimony! God had demonstrated his power once again, and these early followers of Jesus must have felt invincible. I think what happened next is typical of human nature. It would appear that in the midst of great victories, a cloud of complacency had dulled some of the believer's spiritual senses. In Acts 12, we read that the persecution against the church continued, but this time it was Herod who had initiated the arrest, and instead of seizing all the apostles at once, he started with James, the brother of John. Mm. Everyone assumed that James would be fine. After all, God had delivered the apostles from prison once before, and surely he would do it again. Or would he? We read of no prayer meetings, no vigils, and no intercession. All was well, and no one was concerned, until the church was devastated by the dreadful news. James was executed at the hands of the wicked ruler. And it was a wicked execution in the hall. Complacency is among the most dangerous enemies of the believer because it is so easy to fall into and very difficult to detect in our own lives before we are rudely awakened. Ephesians 6.18 reminds us, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Hmm. And Acts 5.19 says, But during the night an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the jail and brought them out. We do have to remember that We are going to be rescued, but it isn't necessarily in the sense that Paul was rescued from jail there. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened with James. He lives on forever at the right hand of God. He is in heaven, but it doesn't always work out like we want it to on earth. He makes a good point, though, that we need to always be on guard. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Yeah. Always praying for the Lord's people. Let's do that. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this wake-up call. Help us to be alert and always keep praying for everyone. Mm -hmm. Lord, we love you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.